Election challenges are nothing new, but here in Maryland, it brings back memories of a similar situation during the heated gubernatorial race in 1994. The lawsuits are piling up. President Trump's campaign filed them in Georgia, Michigan and Pennsylvania and announced plans Thursday to file in Nevada, claiming voting fraud in some states seeking to stop ballot counts in others. It's, you know, unprecedented and, and certainly seems to be a tactic to kind of shave off, you know, certain numbers or small percentages uh, of voters. Legal experts say challenges to election results have happened in the past, but not on this scale for a presidential election. In fact, here in Maryland, some votes cast in the 1994 gubernatorial race ended up in court. Republican Ellen Sauerbrey challenged results that led Democrat Paris Glenn Denning to victory. We talked to lawyers for both sides in that case on the current situation. To suggest that somehow or other you're going to have this widespread rampant fraud uh, is not only unsubstantiated, there's no evidence, no evidence that's been put forward that corroborates any of the claims. Fraud is bipartisan. Both sides do it. Both sides practice it. They're hard to prove because there is no uniform system uh, nationwide. Each state has a particularly different way of voting manner and method of voting. Some of the Trump campaign lawsuits have already been thrown out by state courts. Others could end up in front of the Supreme Court. It's doubtful that any of these lawsuits will uh, change uh, the outcome or in, in, in many respects even stall the process. I don't, don't think we're going to have a Bush v. Gore type of situation where certainly the uh, case, the, the outcome was tied to one state. The lawyers I spoke to say challenges to the election results do have the potential to undermine voter confidence in the electoral system. In Midtown, Kim Day, CWBAL, TV 11 News.